Hi guys. Well, it was a lovely morning, but of course now that I'm heading out, the clouds are moving in. Uh, it is a fairly pleasant fall day. I still don't know if it's Wednesday or Thursday. I think it's Thursday, October 21st, 2021. So uh, <clears throat> I am now heading to uh, <coughs> help Brother Basil <coughs> bring in his firewood for the winter. I was just up at Sandy's helping her bring hers in and uh, as I get ready to get my ass to uh, Florida, but uh, I mentioned this yesterday, this uh, this newest warning light on my uh, car, the ABS brake light came on. Now I already had this maintenance required light and then there's this weird light next to it that came on which I'm it came on at the same time as the ABS warning light uh, so it got me to thinking about technology so I, I, I you know I don't know what any of this shit means guys I I have no business living in the 21st century I should be on a fucking horse uh, heading to uh, Basils to help him uh, stack firewood <clears throat> today. So this is just a perfect example. All right, this is a 2013 truck. I honestly don't know if this is the first truck I've ever had with ABS, which apparently means anti-lock, and the A means anti-lock braking system. And so what happened is right when I got to Sandy's house uh, <clears throat> on Tuesday, I mean, right before I got to her house, I didn't even slam all, I, I wouldn't even call it slamming on the brakes, but I did brake suddenly. So I kind of semi-slammed on the brakes <clears throat> and the whole truck, as it was supposed to do, goes, boom, 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 and, you know, there, there's four of these boom, 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 booms, and apparently that's each, the, the, the anti-lock brake system somehow has something to do with each of your brakes responding independently, so when you slam on your brakes, you don't go into a skid or something, it's some sort of anti-skid protection. I don't, I, I think my last truck, my 2004 truck had this ABS on it. Uh, I, I'm not even sure about that. I never had any problem with it. So anyway, I, I, I had that happen with the brakes on a, Again, guys, I don't It might be fucking Friday. I have lost all track of what day it was. Anyway, whatever the hell day, I think that was Tuesday. And then the truck sat for 24 hours. I didn't move the truck for 24 hours. When I first started the truck yesterday, it was fine. And then about, you know, 10 minutes into the trip back from Sandy's to uh, back to Bugs in a Jar, uh, which is about a two hour trip, this light, this warning light came on. You know, I pulled over and checked the, I haven't even checked the brake fluid till this moment, I'm embarrassed to say, but the brakes seem to be working totally fine. Uh, but, you know, when I put on the brakes, I mean, the, the truck stops. Uh, it doesn't do that boom, 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 because apparently that is all that has happened. It's just like, you know, cars from the time Henry Ford invented the Model T right up until they came up with this new technology whenever it was, uh, 15, 20 years ago. I don't know when the ABS came up with. Uh, the brakes seem to be fine. So I get home, uh, realize, realize, realize. He assures me, hey, man, it, it, it's nothing to worry about. Your brakes 
are still working fine. It's just that that s separate wheel thing is all they're talking about. I confirm that with Basil. Uh, Basil agrees with Rob that it's nothing to be concerned about. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm getting my uh, car... Uh, <clears throat> I'm getting my truck inspected tomorrow, so I call the mechanic who's doing the inspection on my truck. I tell him the same thing, and, and he goes, it, it, it makes no difference that uh, I, I said, okay, because this ABS brake warning light is on, uh, in the eyes of the state of New York, that is no reason to fail a safety inspection. You know, of course, you know, they're going to look at my brakes, you know what I'm saying, to make sure I have a, enough a padding on my or whatnot. And, and, and he goes, no, it, it, you, you know, uh, the, the fucking state of New York uh, doesn't give a fuck about it. Who gives a fuck about it? You know, I, I, I'm, I'm just thinking, uh, you know, how many people would have pulled over and, and you know, and called a fucking tow truck? And uh, so I guess uh, for the, you know for the rest of the fucking time I have this truck I'm gonna be walking you know driving around with this fucking uh, warning light right up next to the maintenance required light uh, on it and this maintenance required light like every time. I take the car in for service or something. Uh, these, there, there's some way to get rid of the maintenance required light. Something to do with your fucking odometer. I, I, I don't know. Uh, it takes about 30 seconds to the maintenance that is required on the maintenance required light is, is to turn the fucking light off. You know, it's, it's just, but, but all of this. Uh, it's it just getting me thinking about all, all of this fucking technology. It, you know, we, we live for 200,000 fucking years with none of this shit. And uh, every fucking, uh, every fucking year, they come up with more and more and more uh, uh, of this crap. <clears throat> Instead of simplify, 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 it's complicate, complicate, complicate. It's just leave it the fuck alone. It, you know, it's this complexity. You, you, uh, you hear this word in the collapsitarian community that as societies become more and more complex, uh, it, it sets up this whole, uh, the bigger you are, uh, the harder you fall dynamic. That the more and more of these layers uh, of this bullshit that we add on, and I'm talking in every fucking aspect, uh, from our personal lives right up to the, you know, to global industrial civilization. Uh, we're, we're, we're just on the, the, this hell bent, uh, f y you know, road to hell. That's why they call it hell bent. We're, we're on this road to hell every time we, we come up with, with, with this fucking ABS or whatever. I'm just using it as a metaphor. Uh, you know, and, and add, uh, you know, another layer of complexity in, in, in our fucking mechanics, our technology, our, our goddamn bureaucracy, these motherfucking, uh, you know, inspections. That, uh, all of this shit it, it is going out the fucking window uh, when, when this shit comes down. All of this shit's going uh, out, out the fucking window. Uh, we're we're going to be seeing some fucking decomplexity going on in, in, on this fucking planet uh, to put us on the goddamn course correction. Uh, the, you, you know, to to uh, turn this shit around. Uh, did this guy take his sign down? I guess the neighbors complained. Uh, this guy had this huge sign here, uh, slow the fuck down. 
uh, <laughs> in like two foot high letters. I guess the neighbors uh, complained about his slow the fuck down uh, sign. Uh, talk about a perfect metaphor for the uh, <clears throat> over complexitization of society. Slow the fuck down. We, we, we just automatically assume uh, adding on more and more layers uh, uh, of this complexity with some fucking cover story that it's supposed to make our lives easier. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to find out how easy, uh, depending on all of this shit, and, and, and of course, you know, computers and smartphones and that whole bit leading the way. So, uh, next week I join the smartphone generation where I am finally going to get a, uh, a smartphone uh, to try to, uh, you know, have internet wherever I go since uh, I, I go into an absolute little hissy fit uh, if I lose my fucking internet for five minutes. Uh, so here I am buying into it. I'm buying into it myself. Talk about collapse. Uh, you know, this whole road is just, uh, I, I mean, you know, anyone who wants to see the future of the Finger Lakes of New York needs to come take a ride down Buffalo Road. I don't know what it is about this one road. Uh, it's just like the entire road looks like, uh, it looks like either Appalachia today or, or, or the fucking planet tomorrow. I, I'm sure one of these rednecks along here uh, would love to uh, talk to you uh, uh, about useless technology and complexity. <clears throat> but anyway, here we are, a road to fucking hell. I love I've always loved this, what this thing is, 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 is a double wide trailer, but it's only half of the trailer, it's only one side of the double wide, so it's in effect a single wide trailer. I just wonder what kind of uh, price they got on half of a trailer. So they hauled in half of a trailer and... Uh, <laughs> And you know, and, and just boarded up the uh, the back open wall where there's supposed to be the other side of the trailer. You, you know, you, you gotta love fucking rednecks. Uh, it, it is these rednecks uh, who are gonna be the survivors. Uh, it, it's all of these dudes with with all of this junk shit uh, covering every square inch of their fucking yards. Uh, every one of these goddamn personal landfills, uh, he with the most garbage uh, is the one who's going to win. Uh, not he with the most toys. He with the most toys is going to be the most fucked. He with the most garbage uh, is, is going to be the one uh, who wins. When, when all of this shit comes uh, crashing down like it fucking needs to. Which the price of gas at this gas station can't read it from here. It got the price of fucking gas. Uh, you know, in the old normal, it used to be that uh, gas would uh, go down. Uh, after Labor Day. Remember those uh, those days when after Labor Day the price of gasoline would fall and uh, gas, so you know when I was snowbirding from New York to Florida and gas was getting cheaper by the day and then jokes on fucking me. Uh, here in Ithaca the average price of a gallon of gas in the past seven or eight days has gone from I would say 320 a gallon 
to 350 a gallon. Uh, I was reading this excellent uh, essay by Umer Haik. If you haven't heard that new, uh, if you haven't read or heard that uh, new essay by Umer talking about all of this supply chain shit going on, uh, it's over there at Collapse Chronicles. I just uh, posted it over there at Collapse Chronicles if you want to pull your head out of your ass and figure out how fucked you are. Uh, let Umer Haig, if you don't want to listen to me tell you, let Umer Haig uh, tell you how fucked you and everybody else on this fucking dead end dying planet are. But anyway, it is a fine day here on a dying planet. It is a fine day to be alive on a dying planet. Here in uh, Paradise, looking at the weather forecast starting on Monday. Looks like we're going to have our first frost Saturday night, and then, my God, the fucking weather here next week. I'm going to be ready to put a fucking bullet through my head. I need to get my ass to Florida now that uh, I have unloaded... Uh, well, one psycho bitch unloaded herself, and I unloaded to the best of my ability the other one. So I'm going to be mig towing it. Mig towing it. <clears throat> anyway, get out there and mig tow it while you still can. Oh, we are so fucked. Well, I, I see there's been a frost here. I know there is a there is a freeze at Sandy's house Monday night, and I just noticed that. Uh, oh, so that that's weird. So how was there a freeze at Sandy's house Monday night and a freeze here? Somehow bugs in a jar. Uh, man, we must have dodged that bullet. Uh, we must have dodged that bullet by two or three degrees uh, on uh, on uh, Monday night, but it looks like Saturday night our game is up. Uh, fuck, I have a cop. I, I hate it when I have a fucking cop behind me. The only thing worse than having a that is the worst thing. I said the only thing worse than having a cop in front of you is a cop behind me. So here I am. Uh, watching my speed. This fucking cop. Come on around me, motherfucker. You know, this whole goddamn police state. It's going to be a double-edged police state, kind of like it was in the Corona panic. Uh, we're we're going to find out uh, real quick uh, when this whole shit comes down how much you can depend on the fucking cops to uh, have your best interest at heart. Let me assure you uh, who the fucking cops uh, whose interest the goddamn cops are gonna have in their hearts. Look at this fucking, look at this fucking shit along here. The, the, I, I don't know when all, the, this has just happened in the past couple of years. All of this crap along here. People living like fucking trash. My mama used to always say, I don't care how poor you are, don't need to live like trash. Take some fucking personal responsibility for your fucking life. Anyway, I'm going to listen to some music for the end times. And I uh, hope this fucking cop finds something else to do with his fucking life then tail my ass. Bye guys.